FrugalSim videos are powered by Jetline Systems. Hello YouTube, this is Frugal and welcome to Tip Tuesday. Hopefully this video makes it out on a Tuesday, otherwise the name's kind of silly. But anyway, I wanted to talk about something kind of cool that I discovered with X-Plane. If, like me, you fly a lot of different aircraft or you have a bunch of different controls that you use, or both. One of the things that I miss greatly about prepared when using X-Plane is FSU IPC. With FSU IPC, I can set per aircraft profiles that say that when I load up this particular beastie, this one being, of course, the Skunk Works P-51 or Skunk Craft P-51, when I load this up, I want my controls to work a certain way, or when I load up the Aerobus Diamond, then I want them to work a different way. If I'm using my Thrustmaster Warhog, I want these settings. If I'm using my Yoko the Yoko, I want these settings and so on. And I never realized that you could actually do that in X-Plane and it's phenomenally powerful. So today's Chip Tuesday is to show you how to do per aircraft and per controls assignments in X-Plane and make them persist, which is really very cool. So we go into the settings here. And you'll see down the bottom here, it says user profile. And I've created another profile called Yoko plus TPM. So when I'm using my Yoko the Yoke and the uh, Virtual Flight Vernio TPM, which I recently got, there's a video coming out on that, then I just click on this and it assigns all the buttons to where they should. But right now I have my Thrustmaster Warthog plugged in because I want to go fly this beautiful Mustang. So what do I do? How do I work on that? Well, here's what you do. You click on Manage Profiles. And then within Manage Profiles, click on Create New Profile and give it a name. So we're going to call this uh, Thrustmaster, or we'll just call this Warthog. So Warthog Warbirds. Whoops, can't type. My keyboard is in a strange position when I have all the joysticks on my desk, so bear with me. Now, this is very cool. If I click on Done, it's going to say Warthog Warbirds down here. Now I can go through my controls. There's my joystick, and of course, roll and pitch are great. Uh, my trims are all working the way they should because X-Plane automatically supports these controls, which is kind of cool. Uh, going to my throttle there. Whoa, what's going on here? My engine one, engine two throttles are working kind of. Looks like that one needs to be unreversed. There we go. So we'll do that. Uh, and I would really like for this slider here, which is currently assigned to mixture, absolutely perfect. So this one here, I can actually set that. It is where he is, prop. So they're already done, but I've called this warthog warbirds and i can go through and i can sign assign my buttons in here so flaps up and down and so on and so on. it looks like i've already assigned these previously and it's just carried that stuff over which is kind of cool but the better thing of all is that if you go into manage profiles now i can assign these control settings on a per aircraft basis so what i can do is i can say look in ga the Air Force Lab Cessna 172. Well, I'm going to use my Yoko the Yoke and the TPM for that. The Super Cub. I'm going to use the Warthog Warbirds for the Super Cub because the Super Cub uses a joystick in real life. So why the heck's not? So we can just go through and we can start assigning things on a per aircraft basis, which is kind of cool. The PA-28 Arrow, of course, Yoko the Yoke. Tobago and Trinidad from Just Flight. Yoko the Yoke, Beechcraft Baron, Yoko the Yoke, and so on and so on and so on. But now you're setting up these assignments that you've already mapped everything out and saved it on a per aircraft basis, which I never realized you could do. And it's phenomenally useful because what I used to do is load up the aircraft I'm going to fly and then spend forever in each of these darn settings, rebinding everything and making everything work the way I wanted it to work, which is a real pain. And it's much easier to just go ahead and assign them all this way. So hope that's been useful to you. All you need to do, go into joystick settings, click on manage profiles, create a profile, and then just assign that profile to the aircraft of your choice and set up the bindings as you see fit. As always, my name is Frugal. If you've got any suggestions or requests for Tuesday tips, this is going to become a regular thing, then do leave them in the comment section below. And until next time, I'll see you all very soon.